Hey guys, we are gearing up for pool openings around America. Memorial Day weekend typically is that time. And so with that, I thought I would share with you what I have in my pool bag. So first off, I guess, is the bag itself. I have the bog bag. This is actually a, an off brand. I got it from Tamu, the um, like kind of discount website. If you haven't checked that out, I have a haul from there. Um, and it has so far worked really well. I do really like how waterproof and easy it is and how big it is. I do have the large, so I do really like this. Next up, just on top, I have a floaty. I have a little one who cannot swim still, so her floaty comes with me. My middle daughter also has a puddle jumper that she brings, but that's like with our bathing suits because she wears that. Like that's hers, she's in charge of it. Does not go in the bag. She likes to wear it to the pool and be in charge of it from the pool. So that's why it's not in here. So. First up, I will say is towels, because obviously that's something we all need. The three little girls have their own quick dry beach towels. They come, this, these are from Bag, Bagale. Bagale, like Abigail, but Bagale. Um, they are microfiber, they all come in this case, so each kid is responsible for it. I have the large version. I actually would probably say to get the extra large version if you were doing this but they're all like this. They are quick dry, so usually like they'll put it on their chair, they'll use it after we're done with the pool, they'll keep it on their chair while they like change, get dressed, you know, put things away, and by the time it's time to fold these up and put them back in here, after sitting in the sun for, you know, five, 10 minutes, they're already dry again, and we don't have to do anything with them. So I do really like that. They're not as plush and like cuddly, I'll say, as traditional um, beach towels, but they do the job and they are not as bulky to like bring around so when you're bringing like five plus towels with you these are a really good option again we have three of them one for each of the kids dan and i actually have this one this is um from a brand called tessellate and this is an oversized double um beach towel it's super pretty it's quick dry it's not microfiber like those i'm not actually sure the material but it's also sand wicking like really 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 love this towel um i think two summers ago maybe it was in a couple of our um, summer day in the life videos so this definitely is one i love and love the print too definitely i will link both of these options in the description if i had to pick just one i would go with the tessellate towel um, it is to me just a little better and it's not as sticky to the hands like your dry skin can kind of get on microfiber a little bit so I prefer the tessellate but it is much more expensive as well so you have to kind of weigh your pros and cons there but again it folds up this is a two towels in one basically Dan and I will share this because often only one of us gets in the pool um, the other one will be like kind of in the baby pool with rosemary or something like that or just wants to suntan whatever it is so we really only need one between the two of us and because it's double even if we both need it there's still plenty of towel the other thing that I always have is a lunch box and that is for all of our snacks if we're packing dinner or something um, we can pack it here our pool does have a concession so we can add on you know buy things if we need to there um, but most of the time I'm packing snacks because we're not necessarily at the pool for dinner or for lunch. But if we're there for lunch, everything can fit in here. Um, if we're there for lunch, it's usually just me, not Dan. So peanut butter and jellies, you know, the typical lunch things all fit in this. And then I will say, typically we have water bottles in here, which I don't have in here now because we're not going to the pool right now. And so all the kids have their water bottles with them. Um, but typically those do go in here as well. Next up, I have this puzzle bag. And in this puzzle bag, I keep most of our dry things. So when I open this up, I have the secondary bag and this has all of our su um, sunglasses in it. Each kid has a pair or two of sunglasses and Dan and I also have a pair of sunglasses in here. So just lots of sunglasses in here. You never know when you'll need them. The other thing I keep in here is a chapstick because you might need that too, definitely. <laughs> um, and then outside of there, in the bigger section of the bag, I have our sunscreen and our sun sticks and all of the sun stuff. This bag has extra room in it because once we get to the pool, this is also where I'll put my wallet, phone, keys. It's a waterproof bag. Nothing should be able to get, you know, 
in here, that sort of thing. So that is what all goes in here. And then the next bag I have is just a plastic, like, gallon size bag and it has our pool toys and goggles in it um the goggles that we have i will link i've shown them and i got them for easter a couple years ago so it's been in that but i will link these i really like them because they have the clip in the back they're adjustable and they're so much easier for kids to put on we really really love our goggles and outside of that we just have regular pool toys but i'll tell you the favorite of like all the kids has always been the stacking cups like the three or four dollar stacking cups that you can get always been a favorite at the pool other than the little divers um, for the older kids the stacking cups is always number one and I keep them in this because if I use a mesh bag that like can drain water then everything in the pool bag will also get wet so I like that these are contained but when we get to the pool, I can take all the toys out and this is easy to dry. So when I get to the pool, I can put the bag inside out and it dries it out. Um, and then of course, if it just like gets ruined, then we can just get another one, it's no big deal. But this lasts usually an entire season. I don't have to like replace this bag. So that's pretty much everything in the bag. It's a short, sweet, simple. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this bag is that it doesn't have a little pocket so like i said i have to keep my keys phone stuff in this bag um but also my water bottle because i typically like one with a straw i don't like to put it in here because then it will smite this bill too so i usually have to carry this and then in one, my other hand carry my water um but outside of that love it and this is what is in our pool bag this i say is pool specific because there are different things that we bring if we're going to the beach. And so I will just show you, if we go to the beach, this is something that we include. So I have this bag here and this bag is full of mesh bags. Each kid has one. Um, and so we'll bring these for shells and rock collection, you know, things that you might find at a beach or nearby. I also bring this stuff to the creek if we go creek hiking. Um, so also bring these mesh bags. I bring these collapsible buckets. Again, each kid has one. I showed these in my Easter video. If you saw that, that's where we got them. But they collapse down into um, like a flat bucket. So each kid has one and I will also put those in here if we go to the beach. And then I will swap out some of the toys rather than more pool toys. We'll bring more sand toys. So more, um, you know, beach sand toys, that type of thing. And we'd probably swap this out for more of like a, um, wave rider or more beach ocean appropriate type thing. So toys definitely change. And then the other item I always add if we're going to the beach is baby powder. If you have not used this for sand removal, this is like the best thing. You literally just squirt it on legs, squirt it on arms, brush it off and all the sand comes loose. We've been doing this for years, years and years since Isabel was little. Um, and it's like the number one thing like if we go to the beach I will not leave without the baby powder so definitely that is another thing to add and that is all really simple nothing too crazy and out there but this is what we bring to the pool hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one bye